How this project got started? Uh, I got a phone call from one of the CKA teachers, Randy Purser, uh, one of our tribal members, uh, who had asked me if I still smoke salmon and if I could teach um, some of the high school students how to to smoke the salmon. Um, it's something I've I've probably been doing for over 40 years. So what I'm trying to do is carry on the tradition and, and teach these kids uh, at what my great grandmother Cecilia Jackson had taught me. So. When Randy approached me, I you know, kind of opened my mouth and I said, well, let's, let's take it one step further. Let's teach them how to catch the fish first. So, uh, you know, Rob Purser and myself, um, and I had my brother went out uh, to Chico, um, which is down in Dye's Inlet, and we went and caught um, probably about 60 uh, chum salmon. And, um, you know, so that was kind of like the, the start of uh, catching the salmon and getting the, the fish ready for the smokehouse. It's probably about you know, almost like a week-long process from start to finish. I guess it's something that the kids really enjoyed. We end up half smoking some of the salmon and we end up taking it down uh, uh, and canning half of it and then uh, hard smoking the rest of it. Why is it important to you to, to, to pass on this knowledge? Well, I think the importance is it's, it's, it's a way of life. It's something that I grew up with. I remember you know, working in the smoke shop making $4.35 an hour. Uh, I can remember my grandmother. I mean, uh, she lived to be about 105 years old and her diet was salmon and potatoes. So I want it to be carried on. I don't want it to die. And it's something that's intimately connected with the ocean. Are you concerned about some of the changes that, that, oh, most that are happening with the salmon and with the potential things like ocean acidification affecting you know the pteropods and some of the other animals the salmon feed on like what is how, how do you feel about all of that it'd be a shame um, to not be able to you know, continue um, this tradition there's like real technique and i mean you got to get it right or else i mean fish hanging up on a stick you're thinking like yeah you know but like there's a lot to it you you think it'd be kind of easy but yeah. no it, there's a long process to get from the ocean to the stick it's incredible I like learning about new things and a lot of stuff that they teach in school is just kind of repeated. Like they just teach you about the same thing over and over again. But I like going out and doing new things and hands-on stuff rather than sitting there and writing things. It's just really fun because, I mean, it is our heritage so I like to learn it. Salmon is a huge part of the Suquamish peoples, or not only the Suquamish peoples, but the entire Coast Salish Native Americans. Um, Salmon and all other seafoods are a huge part of their diet. But this is definitely a tradition that we would prefer to keep. So you and the students have spent a lot of time, put a lot of work into this smokehouse and into the salmon that's already hanging in there. And a generous gift earlier that we received was the finished product. So I wanted you to, to explain a little bit of, of what this is to me. Okay, so the, the first finished product is what we call it, it's a, it's a half smoked salmon. And, and we, we smoke it for about three to four days. So this is half smoked and then half this smoked. is fully smoked. That's fully smoked. So this is salmon that, that And that's is... usually, you know, anywhere from six to seven days. Okay. You know? and, and this would usually, last all winter. Long. And it would last you all winter. And that you too, know? in, in, and, in and a And this will last for, you know, years. I mean, okay. it's, you know, you just gotta make sure that that's sealed. And okay. um, yeah. And so, so this is what you would store for, for the yeah, winter Yeah, this is what we'd have. This would, you know, I mean, you know, I've been doing this for 40 plus years. And, um, you know, when I first started out, I mean, I wasn't making a whole lot of money, so I lived off of this in the winter. I mean, it was, you know, uh, smoked salmon and fried potatoes. You know, that was kind of like, like a diet, uh, get you through the winter. So all of the work that's going on in here is gonna end up yeah. as this. Plus we're, we're passing on the tradition. And yeah. not to mention the, yeah. the real value, which is helping them understand. Yeah, the, helping them understand, the tradition. yeah.